And of course, if you are watching on the live stream on Real Time Events, you can follow them at Real Time Events on YouTube and on Twitter as well. And of course, this the Great Yacht Showdown 2022 is for, sponsored by Set Mortgages. That's S E T T Mortgages. Setmortgages.co.uk for easy to understand mortgage advice and all of that stuff. So playing in the white is the Furnace Firecrackers. On the jam land for them is 1701, which is Dr. Crusher. And in the gold for Newcastle, we have 912, who is the end is Nige, who of course from the previous game we know is a huge scoring jammer. Hopefully they'll be able to take some of that momentum forward in this, the second game of Group B. But Crusher goes up the inside, up the middle, but Nige goes up the inside, picks up lead jam for Newcastle. Dr. Crusher goes up the middle, but finds herself in the middle of a three wall, manages to get through, making the initial pass. Both teams in point scoring positions as Nige powers their way through, picking up four points for Newcastle and calls off the jam before Furness can get a look in on the points there. 4 0 in favour of Newcastle after the first jam. And who do we have here? That is... Who's that? 108, that is Weeble there. You know, when I saw the roster, I was wondering if it was that Weeble, and that does confirm that one. So Weeble for the Firecrackers. And picks up lead jam for them as well. A oh, very closely followed. By Newcastle, who is that? Number 22, that's Rottweiler. This is a very fast-moving pack here compared to our previous games. Weevil goes up the inside, goes up the inside again, and calls the jam. Just a single point for them there. I thought they deserved more than that for the effort popped in there, but it's the points that matter there. So who do we have here? That is 1204 Ravi Rolly. That's a difficult one to say with a mouthful of peanut butter. So Ravi Rolly in the white there for Furness in the white. And we have Frenzy, Fazy Frenzy, I should say, for Newcastle, who goes to the outside, gets through right away. Good Lord. Quick as a flash there. Oh, and we have a bit of a slip up there in the pack. It looks as though Ravi Rolly is getting caught up in that, unfortunately. As Frenzy gets recycled to the back of the pack, goes up there. And ah, Ravi Rolly has got through, making the initial pass. And a little bit scrappy from Frenzy, but got through in the end there. 8 1 in favour. Oh, hang on. Few that haven't been added there. But on the jam line, we have Dr. Crusher for the firecrackers in the white. And we have Jock and Roll in gold for Newcastle. Jock and Roll going up the inside now, seems to have found an out, but gets pushed off the track there. But Crusher, oh, just a little bit of a shimmy on the toe stops to the inside there, picks up lead jam, but they are being followed by, Doc, by Jock and Roll even. But again, might have ourselves a fast moving pack that has come to a standstill. Here we go. <laughs> so just went around the outside there. Gold jam before any more points could be conceded. But it looks as though they didn't manage to get past any of the players. So defensively there, we have ourselves a pointless jam. Who do we have now? So we have the end is Nige, a very high scoring jammer we've seen previously. And we have Weeble as well. Oh, Weeble just knocks Nige right off the track there. Works in their advantage, picks up lead jam for the firecrackers. Jesus, right out of the gate there with the attack there. Goes around the outside. 
And calls the jam in style there for Weeble. There we go. Picks up the full four points on that one. Calls off the jam there. So 8-5 so far in this contest in favour of Newcastle. Hello, Laurie. And on the line we have Ravi Rowley for the Firecrackers. And who have we got? Number 22, I believe that is, for Newcastle. Wheeler. Some great recycling there. Rob Wheeler getting recycled all the way back. Again, very old school tactics there. That is a one-person wrecking crew there. That's me after a hard-fought one-on-one with Milton there. Newcastle pick up lead jam. And going up to a three-wall, manages to get through it thanks to the no-pack advantage there. There we go, I was waiting for a cut track penalty there for uh, Furnace, but it was just a contact one for one of the blockers there. They pick up four points nice and easy. And there we go, Rottweiler calls the jam there before any more points can be conceded. 12-9 in favour of Newcastle. And you can tell this is going to be a defensive one because it is... Very, very difficult for them to get the lead jam at the start yeah. of that one. Yeah, you can indeed. Who do we have? We have Dr. Crusher standing tall for uh, fur Furnace mm -hmm. Firecrackers. In goal, 1956, Fazy Frenzy for Newcastle. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Josh, a little PSA. If you um, ever happen to be at a roller derby tournament and you're in a queue for the toilets and there is yeah. someone in roller derby kit behind you, mm -hmm. let them jump the queue. Always. 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 That's, just, that's just good common courtesy. Yeah. So anyways, unrelatedly, sorry I was late getting back. <laughs> it's all right. You're here and that's what matters. Huzzah. Huzzah indeed. Huzzah. Our jammers remain unchanged. There we go. Dr. Crusher in the white for the firecrackers. Ooh, that was some stunning, stunning work on the inside. And they were two blockers down, so it was... was Newcastle's to take on that one. Ooh, and a great two... Oh. Just a little bit of a disco bump there, sends Frenzy to the back of the pack. Didn't have that problem that time, goes straight through for the four points for Newcastle. But again, some of that great defensive work there from Newcastle, holding Dr. Crusher to, uh, to a standstill. Consistently good defensive work there. Now there's only two on the track for Newcastle now. Some Oof. fancy toe work there. Mm -hmm. Making the initial pass there for uh, the Firecrackers. As Newcastle pick up an additional four points, as do the Firecrackers as well. Great big smile on the face of Fazy Frenzy uh, as they came past. Mm. Big hit Huge. from Lucas, 8-1-3. Huge hit there from Lucas. <laughs> Again, it's a great sign when you can knock one yeah. of your opponents straight off their feet, and when they get up, the first thing you do is hug. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think what happened there was they just got through some of the uh, blockers there, but were on one foot, so were a little bit off balance, and then <laughs> Lucas sent them. Sent him flying, basically, yeah, but uh, managed yeah. to call the jam from the position on the line. It's Weeble 
And 2009 in gold, jock and roll for Whippin' Hennies. But it goes Newcastle's way this time around. Frenzy picking up lead jam. Oh, sorry, jock and roll, jock and roll. I do apologize. A weeble barreling out of there. On the pack after the initial pass there. Uh, jock and roll rightly calls it there. Weeble very, there very fastly approaching the, ja the pack there. Yep, jo jock and roll with the, uh, the three quid lunch deal point accumulator. Nip in, get your healthy points, nip back out. Nine, one, two. Okay, that was Halifax, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia, all right, okay. Who? Canada. Oh, there you go. Halifax, Nova Scotia. Fantastic. So we're just getting some more information there, but Lee Jam there goes to the Firecrackers. Number nine, one, two, and gold. The end is nine. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and with Andy Snitch fastly approaching, approaching the back of the pack there, I would have done the same thing. On the jam line, we have Weeble for uh, for the Firecrackers in the white. And in the gold, number 22, Rockwheeler. Good Lord. Weeble sure does love to get their elbows out, don't they? I mean, not literally. Like, no, no, no. no. So that would be illegal, but... Ooh, jammer fight. Jammer on jammer. Look at that. Spicy. <laughs> there we go. Got a little bit... A little bit spicy there between the two jammers, but calls it off before any points can be scored. So what do we have? Who doesn't like a bit of spice? It just adds to the flavor. Mm -hmm. why, why have we turned into monster truck announcers, Josh? I, have no I, I don't care. I'm here for it. With some of the power on the track, we might as well be, to be honest with That's you. What I'm, you'll pay for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Uh, number 2009, Jock and Rolling Gold for Newcastle. And we got Ravi Rowley for the Firecracker. But it's Newcastle who pick up lead Chan once again. Adding to their first 6 16 advantage, 20 point advantage so far in the game as we approach the halfway point. Speaking of the edge, Josh, can we just take a second to thank the edge here at the University of Leeds? The for guitarist this... from U2. Yes. Oh, no, the, the, this place. Yeah, yeah. The edge from U2 is not hosting this event in their lovely I'm sure facilities. He, could. he probably could. His ego could probably host this event. <laughs> but anyhow, um, many, many big thanks to the edge, University of Leeds, for um, letting us use their beautiful facility here today. As four points go up on the board for Newcastle for Jock and Roll. Because of that one, as Ravi Rowley makes the initial pass for the furnace firecrackers. And there we go, jam called there. Before Dr. Kusher can get a look in on any of the points there. So 41 16 in favour of Newcastle as it stands. And you can thank the staff members at the Edge Sports Centre, where we are at, by uh, using the litter facilities. That's all we ask. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's do that. L litter goes in the bin, let's, guys. Let's be grown-ups, yeah. shall we? Not naming names, but... N not, not adults. We're yeah. not adults, but grown-ups, yeah. yes. Number 912 in gold. The end is Nige for Newcastle. And 12.04, Ravi Rowley for... Um, Barrow in Furnace. It's a big no, it's not Barrow in Furnace, sorry. It's Furnace Firecrackers, sorry. Got the teams mixed up. You know what, the, the game is just so exciting, I can totally understand, dude. It's easy to lose your head when you're watching a game that is this good. Because Ravioli took a massive hit there and is really struggling to get through a beautiful defensive wall by Newcastle. Well, the defensive wall seems to be not an issue at all for the end is night and hasn't really been all day. Uh, well, except for the previous jam where they had a little bit of trouble there, but uh, looks 
Then is Nige back on form once again, scoring real, real big points. Well, there we go, of course, Newcastle after losing their previous game by two points. It's a must-win game for them to have a look in on the final. Definitely. Getting through, getting the four points on the board there. Well, the firecrackers. And the end is Nige. Putting on an absolute clinic once again, calling the jam. Huge points again. Now we're just over the halfway point in this game. 61-20 in favour of Newcastle. And on the line for the furnace firecrackers, we have Weeble. And it's 1956. Fazy Frenzy in the gold for Newcastle. Weeble goes up to the inside, almost gets knocked off there, but goes onto the toe, stops and a little sidestep, picks up the jam. That is beautiful crackers. work by Weeble. Beautiful work by Weeble. Beautiful. There we go. Fair enough. Straight through there. Now I remember uh, seeing Weeble at a game for Rainy City back in the day, and goodness me, they were definitely a standout for that team. Weeble seems to be processing or proceeding, I beg your pardon, through the defensive uh, line like a, a knife through butter, one might even say. Yeah, no, definitely. Slicing through if we're taking the name of another skater here today, but. I personally cannot wait to see the end is Nige and Weeble on the jam line together. Good. Ooh. Ooh. Good Lord and, and good Lord and Butter. Yep. <laughs> oh, a massive. Both very high scoring players here, but Weeble once again picking up the points as we have. Recycle to the back of the pack there for Newcastle. Weeble closing the gap here. Ooh! That looks as though it was a bit of an awkward one. And there we go. Rightly stopping the jam there. That looks as though it was going over on the ankle there a little bit. Oh dear. So, Josh, we're down to almost the last third of this game. We are in the last third of the game there. There we go. Up and Adam and a little dance to boot there. It, it looked to me as though it sort of caught the ankle, sort of a disadvantageous position as uh, as That's they went down there. That's never a good there. time. Never no, I, was a good out, time. I was out for like four weeks from that back when I was competing. So yeah, yeah, dear. It's full contact, and they wear as much well protection as they as they can get away with. Always wear protection. Always, especially in roller derby. Number twenty-two, Rot Wheeler in gold on the line from Newcastle Roller Derby. And who do we have for the Furnace Firecrackers? Oh, oh, it's Dr. Crusher. Now, is that, is that Dr. Crusher MD or, you know? Um, I, I assume so. It might be a Dre situation where they're just called Doctor and I don't know. Or it might be a Dr. Britt Baker MD situation. Yeah. They are a wrestler, but they do have a medical license. Spent eight years at Crusher School, not to be... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good milkshake, Crusher, lest we forget. But, oh, there we go, Pack backing up. So the run it won't be as big as it was there. As Rock Wheeler goes to the outside, gets recycled to the back of the pack there, but Dr. Crusher, being stuck by one of the Newcastle free walls, gets through and picks up lead jam for the Firecrackers. Go 
Margot Rotwe that has made the initial pass as well, but goes around the outside and calls it for the firecracker. Absolute clinic there from Larsa Crusher as well. Oh. It's as though somebody didn't get the memo that that jam no. was over a little bit there, which can happen. Which can happen. The game happen. is so fun, you just don't <laughs> want to stop the jam. Yeah. Oh, there we go, some of our track guys there. Just picking up some stuff that had fallen off there, hopefully not any equipment. But on the jam line we have Rabbi Rowley for the Firecrackers. <laughs> and we've got 2009, Jock and Roll for Newcastle in the gold. And it comes in favour of Jock and Roll, who rolls ahead. Picking up lead jam for Newcastle once again. 61-41, only a 21-point advantage on this one. So could be could be a close one as we go into the final 10 minutes of this game. But Jock and Roll looking to not make that happen. <coughs> and it looks as though we have a, is that a star pass? Certainly is, we have a star pass there for the Furnace Firecrackers. As Flip the Bird is now jamming for the Firecrackers. One of the perils of announcing is that you become very fond of your own particular brand of lozenge. Josh and I are rocking two different sets of lozenges today uh, I because was on, uh, Jakeman's and Hall's Cherry. If you're interested, other lozenges may be available. Nine one two on the line in gold for Newcastle, and it's one hundred eight Weeble in white for Furness. And Weeble picks up lead jam once again for the Firecrackers. Well, we've got an initial pass here from Newcastle Roller Derby. Ooh, the end is nice. Oh, this is the dream lineup we were on about. That was that was number five one zero Albatross in gold doing that solid solid stop. Oh, Albatross! Yeah, they were um, they had some heavy hits in the previous game as well against uh, the Try Northern Rogues. Didn't do too bad at jamming either, if memory serves as well. There we go. So we have 6 9 44 in favour of Newcastle at the moment. Uh, Let's see if I can find Henning. I know where we have Rot Wheeler on the line. And we have Dr. Crusher for the Firecrackers as well. But Rot Wheeler goes up. Both of them trying the outside at the moment. But Rot Wheeler looks as though they manage. Ooh, and a huge hit from the hips there to Rot Wheeler. It looks as though they're okay. Gets recycled to the back of the pack. And Dr. Crusher picks up lead jam, but looks as though they did go off track, so will be recycled. Looks as though it wasn't the case. Looks as though it wasn't the case for that one there. But Dr. Crusher, lead jammer here. There you go. Turn it down a fraction so you can take the other There we go. Both teams scoring points at the moment here. It's Rock Wheeler. Here we go. And Dr. Dr. Crusher getting the advice, or taking the advice, I should say, of the bench there and calling it nice and early. Sometimes even a doctor can learn new things. Exactly. Sometimes they need a second opinion. It's nice to know that after three years, our jokes haven't gotten any better. Nope, definitely no, not. No, it's good. Two thousand. We thought a lot of people would get better over lockdown. We didn't. Not at all, but we have Ravi Rowley for the Firecrackers. 2009 Jock and Roll in gold for Newcastle. Ravi. Again, this is some really standout defensive work. Yeah, no, the defense on Newcastle here was absolutely incredible there. But Ravi Rowley managed to push all three of them there. But it's yeah. Newcastle who comes out on top, picking up lead jam for Newcastle. Go. 
And it looks as though Ravi Rowley has been sent to the penalty box for a cut track penalty. This is now a power jam for Newcastle. Newcastle, of course, need to win this game to stay in contention. After they lost to the Northern Rogues by two points in their previous game. As we go into the last 10 minutes, 75-48 in favour of Newcastle. Power jam. And there we go, some We've interference got... being around there. Ooh. Oof. We've got just over five minutes left in this game, Josh. Ooh, was it that, that it quick is, already? It has gone that fast. It has gone that fast. There we go. So hopefully, well, hopefully Newcastle will be able to take, take advantage, well, keep their advantage on this one here. Because it is an uphill battle for the Furnace Firecrackers here with such a big points deficit and only five minutes left. But stranger things have happened as we do have a star pass. Just in time for that jam to be called as well. That's exactly it. Furnace have got a bit of an uphill... Um... Excuse me. And we have a team timeout that has been called there. So we get one minute to relax. As we go into the final four minutes of this game, 83-48 in favour of Newcastle. Now, we've only got two more games after this, Josh, before our big... Uh, bah, bah. Two more group games. Group games. Thank you so much for clarifying. We've got two more group games to play this afternoon prior to the big headline game here at Great Yorkshire Showdown 2022. Yes, which is going to be between... Let me have a look at my notes here. Uh, the winner of Group A versus the winner of Group B. Ooh, good teams then. I mean, they're all good teams, Josh. Yeah. Yeah. Of course they're all good teams. Yeah. I can't do that. Good lord. Oh man. I, I mean, I, like, I, I can't Which even do this in all. Tried. Yeah, no. Tried, no. failed miserably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you had, you had fun and you made good friends. Oh yeah, had loads of fun. Had loads of fun. 9 1 2 and gold on the line for Newcastle whipping hinnies. And we have Weeble on the jam line for the <laughs> firecrackers. I'm sorry, I like it when a player's got their own chant. It very rarely happens in this sport, so I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> And Weeble once again getting the elbows out straight away. Oof. And pays off, picks up lead jam. Hopefully they'll be able to rack up some points here for the Firecrackers to get themselves back in this contest. And it is a power play for them. Goes around the outside, picks up an additional four points. What do we need? Five more passes and then we're even? It's a big ask, but I think Weeble... That was oh, squeaky. so sick. <laughs> Absolutely squeaky. So close to the edge. But manages to keep in play. But Jammer is standing. Jammer is back on the back on the track. But still needs to make their initial pass. But again, this is another power jam situation. This they are racking up the points, Josh. Yeah, they've got a... Um, this is this is getting tense. It's getting hectic. Yeah, no, this... Oh, I really hope it isn't a case of Newcastle losing it in the last few jams Ooh. again, but... Yeah, with two power jams and a blocker in the penalty box and Weeble on the track, this might be... This might be very advantageous for uh, the Firecrackers here. I mean, <laughs> we have literally seen this before, Josh. We have seen one team that were trailing... It appeared that the other team had an unassailable lead, and then their lead was assailed. Yep. And I'm I'm not going to say that there's some assailing going on, but um... there we go. Initial pass has been made for Newcastle. Now they are in point scoring position, and Weeble does the right thing and calls it. Ooh. Well, he put in a little bit of stank on the defence there. Good lord, big hit there at the end. Uh, so that is very much uh, the uh, uh, what's the word the jam that they needed. Uh huh. That's what I'm saying. It's um they, they're they're seven points behind with a minute left. Did we say you couldn't write it? Because for the second time to get today, the, the, this is you, you an unbelievable game. You couldn't write it. 
I'm not going to use the word unprecedented because I hate that word now. Well, it's not unprecedented. It happened literally in the last game. It so. is, in fact, exactly or two precedented. Games ago, even. We've <laughs> one of these teams <laughs> in this group. So, in fact, the very opposite of unprecedented. Number yeah. 22, Rock Wheeler in gold on the line for Newcastle Whipping Hennies. And Dr. Crusher on the line for the Furnace Firecrackers. Because I'm, I'm going to stand for this. this do it, like do it. You know it's going to be a good, uh, a good uh, jam when both of the announcers are on their feet. Just seven points in it. I think Newcastle. Josh might cry. Newcastle have to, ha they have to win this to stay in the competition. Mm, they got to do it. After the timeout there, so. This, this will be the last jam of the game. And they're off. Rock Wheeler. Crusher. And Dr. Crusher both doing stellar, stellar work. But both of them being recycled to the back of the pack there, and it looks as though this is advantageous for Newcastle as Rottweiler picks up lead champ for Newcastle. Oh man, that is a shame, that is a shame, but... It's great for them to stay in the competition, but Dr. Crusher, hands off! Hands off, we have a star pass! And Newcastle managed to hold off what, what the a firecrackers. Fabulous. What a fabulous game. Some really, really good effort from Dr. Crusher with some excellent fast footwork, but it just was to no avail. Yeah, no, that's exactly what they needed to stay in this one. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Ooh.